meteorologist Ryan Mahan. Your weather authority, powered by AccuWeather. No surprise to see gray skies out there and of course feel those gusting winds and see and feel showers moving through the area as Sally still sits to our southwest. Uh, so looking out here on our newest camera, the Harris Gulf Coast camera uh, on top of Harris, obviously looking towards the southwest. Earlier we were seeing water more up here. You can see how it's still kind of standing there in a few areas. All of this uh, sand completely submerged. Now it has backed off a bit and largely um, likely because of the increase in winds which are coming now from the north based on where that is. So kind of pushing against that and also tide is pulling out. I believe low tide will be at about 8 o'clock tonight, so we're closing in on that. Um, but this is also going to start rising as that storm surge does, which those numbers have improved as everything slowly shifted towards the east. As you've, as you've heard me say uh, through the weekend and all last night, and of course, Brantley just mentioning uh, now those storm surge values are still there, but falling. That doesn't mean that they're going to go away completely anytime soon. So let's see what Sally looks like here on the satellite and the radar. You can see that swirl putting finger right there in the center of the eye. You can see that over a two hour period it has basically not moved at all and that means rainfall totals especially for this here just got to be astronomical and will continue to go up as we head into the next few days. So that track the last update which happened right around four o'clock our time has pushed it even further east. Uh, earlier it was about in central Mobile Bay. Now it's closer towards eastern Mobile Bay and I wouldn't be surprised if the next update pushed it closer to the Alabama Florida state line and the more the Easter put easterly push happens, the better things are for us because the west side of the storm in terms of rain, now this is showing you uh, infrared, so it looks like it, it's very full, but actually as far as rainfall goes, uh, this side is very, very weak on that. Totals uh, nowhere near as uh, impressive or as dangerous as what you're going to see just a few miles off towards the east, towards Mobile and Pensacola. So zooming in here, you can see where that landfall is expected to happen. Uh, uh, again, Landfall as of this point really not going to be the important thing. It's important for us to know which side either east or west of that line that we're on. Uh, but at this point, this storm is going to be such a slow moving rainmaker causing flooding um, off the scales, unfortunately, in some parts as this continues to go for a couple of days in the, in the same area of moving so slowly. So landfall, really not as important as to which side of the landfall you're on and to, as to how much of that rain you're going to get. Winds, we'll talk about the rain totals here in a moment, but winds have been increasing. We're seeing ocean springs upwards of almost uh, tropical storm force there sustained at 31. Uh, this fell a little bit in Gulfport. It was upwards of 25 earlier, now 18. Of course, that will continue to go up. We're seeing some inland areas with higher uh, wind totals. And once we factor in those gusts, we're getting a lot closer. Gulfport seeing gusts of tropical storm force in Biloxi, very, very similar. Much higher, of course, off towards the east. Mobile there at 53 for their latest gust. So the watches and the warnings I mentioned earlier are starting to drop off west to east across the area. You see Pearl River County now no longer under a tropical storm or hurricane warning. And Hancock, which was hurricane warning yesterday, is now just tropical storm warning, as is Stone County. So the more this shifts towards the east, the more these will start dropping off, which makes it better and better, but I still don't see it getting far enough away uh, from Jackson County or George County there where we will see uh, that those warnings drop off. Storm surge, obviously, we've talked about a few times now looking like more two to four feet in South Mississippi, more three to five towards Mobile and maximizing off towards Pensacola as that continues that shift and flooding again going to be our major issue, whether that's with the storm surge happening on the coastline or the rain the river runoff and the storm surge all coming in together. But uh, just like the last several trends, Pascagoula trending now closer to three inches of rain, where just yesterday we were looking at over a foot. So things are improving. We'll still see Sally lingering through tomorrow, bringing us a very stormy, gray, windy day. But those rain chances linger a little bit through the end of the week. But once we start heading into the next, we're expecting some cooler temperatures down into the low 80s and more sunshine with drier weather.